Hi everyone. Yeah, this is the second video to solve uh, this inequality, which is a rational inequality uh, using the method of table of sign. So for the first video, I have uh, solved the same problem by using the number line. And this video is going to share with you the table of sign method. Okay, so I repeat. Uh, this for this inequality we are not allowed to multiply both sides by x plus 1 because we are not sure that the x plus 1 having the sign or of a positive or negative all right so um, this is the warning that I write it here okay x plus 1 is not always positive so it is wrong if we multiply both sides by x plus 1 all right so first step the correct step is uh, we move the 2 to the left and uh, we make it the right hand side to be 0. Then we equate denominator. Alright, for the left hand side, we equating denominator. We have, uh, after that, we have to simplify the numerator and we got the x plus 3 over x plus 1 less than 0. And I call this as my standard form. Alright, so why I call this as a standard form? Because uh, I will uh, did, I will make sure that uh, my uh, inequality has been simplified into the form of left hand side just consists of a linear expression on top, linear expression uh, and below, and uh, left uh, right hand side I have to make sure it equals to zero. Okay. After you get this standard form, you can start to sketch your table. All right. This is the table of sign. Okay. If uh, I have a two uh, linear expression, all right, linear factor, I have to sketch a four by four table. All right, which is uh, the first row, the first column. I will have to put the x on uh, this uh, box, and uh, first uh, the second second box of the first column, I have to uh, put the first factor, which is x plus three, and then followed by x plus 1 which is uh, these are the two linear expression one is on top one is at the denominator and we are actually um, intend to to find to determine the sign when the x plus 3 divided by x plus 1 okay so for the this box i will put x plus 3 over x plus 1 and uh, for the uh, first row okay i have to uh, concern of uh, 3 3 interval. The first interval is for the x less than negative 3 and the second one is the in between negative 3 and negative 1 and the last column is x greater than 1 which are when you want to sketch this interval it is better that I will put the root okay not root uh, sorry uh, I will put the number which I concern which is a negative 3 and negative 1 over here so uh, at the left hand side of negative 3 I have to uh, con consider the number which is less than negative 3 and in between uh, negative 3 and negative 1 I will write my interval in this form which is in between and uh, for the right hand side of the negative 1 this is the interval for the x greater than negative 1 okay then uh, next step I have to put a number choose a number which is less than negative 3 into my substitute into my first uh, linear expression which is, uh, uh, for example, I will put negative 4, substitute negative 4 into this, you get negative 4 plus 3, which is uh, obtaining the negative 1. And negative 1 having the sign of negative, so I will put a sign negative over here. Alright, so for the second one, I want to choose a value which is in between negative 3 and negative 1. For example, you can have your negative 2. Put a negative 2 or you substitute negative 2 into this uh, first uh, linear expression you got negative 2 plus 3 which is a positive 1 so when you substitute negative 2 into this uh, linear expression you have your uh, one positive sign so i'll put a positive sign into this box all right for the third interval i have my x greater than negative 1 so uh, just take a value which is greater than negative 1 for example 0 just put a 0 inside here you got 0 plus 3 so 0 plus 3 obtain you produce 3 3 meaning that is a positive sign so you put a positive sign in this box all right so on and so forth for the second linear expression okay the same thing you will apply on the on this uh, x plus 1 substitute a value which is uh, less than negative 3 which uh, you can take negative 4 put it inside this uh, 
linear expression, you got negative 4 plus 1. So you got negative 3, right? So negative 3 having the sign of negative, so you will denote, you will note the negative, negative sign into this box. Alright? And after that, uh, the same thing happened to this uh, second interval. You choose a value which is in between negative 3 and negative 1. Put inside here, alright? You got your sign, negative, and followed by positive. Okay, so now is the time to conclude your sign. Eh? Conclude how to conclude your sign because you're hoping to get the sign of x plus 3 divided by x plus 1. So when your x plus 3 having the sign of negative and your x plus 1 having the sign of negative, negative divided by negative, suppose it will produce positive. If a positive divided by negative, you will have your sign negative and followed by positive divided by positive, you got the sign of positive. Alright, so these are the sign to show uh, the, uh, the sign of uh, x plus 3 over x plus 1. So now, refer back to the uh, standard form that you have, which uh, we are interested on the sign of x plus 3 over x plus 1, which is less than 0. We want something less than 0, meaning that we are actually want to choose the interval which is makes the x plus 3 over x plus 1 to be negative. So this will be the interval that we want. This will be the interval that we are interested on. Alright, so now to write your solution set, okay, our answer is x in between negative 3 and ne uh, less than negative 1. Alright, so you can also have your answer in the interval form, which is uh, open interval negative 3 to negative 1, which is not include the negative 3 and negative 1. Alright, so this is the method of table of sign. Alright, thank you for watching.